guys, today we'll be reading The Christmas Stick, Chapter 3, Changes, and I'm reading a name, five years old. And if you want to look at my jumper, or if you don't, look Yeah? Okay. Um, please like and subscribe. Chapter 3. Dad didn't live with them anymore after that. Mum and Dad explained to Jack separately that they didn't want to be married anymore. Jack told them he understood. He said that other people at school had moms and dads who didn't live together. He, c he could tell that they needed him to be alright about it all. So he, he pretended he was, but he was, but someone night after mum had kissed him and, and closed, closed the door, Jack climbed into Deepy's limp body. Deep, Deepy knew and understood everything without being told. His, he knew about the hard lump in Jack's chest. He, his trotters wiped away Jack's tears. Jack didn't have to have to pretend in the dark of deep heat. Soon after Jack's sixth birthday, Dad took Jack out for a burger, gave him a big box of Lego and explained that he'd got a job abroad. Abroad, I can talk to you any time, thought Jack. Jack said, Dad, you can fly on the airplane to visit me. It will be fun, won't it? Jack didn't think it sounded nearly as much as much fun as having a dad around to play with. But he didn't say it much. Jack was getting used to not saying things. Next, Mum told him it might be a good idea if they moved to move to be closer to Gran and Grandpa's Grandpa's Grandpa, who could take care of Jack when she needed to go to work late. She had a new job at the hospital and Grandpa and f had found them a lovely house with a garden just two streets away from Gran and Grandpa's house. Gran and Grandpa owned a very naughty dog called Toby. Jack found Toby the dog funny but we when i have to leave school asked jack thinking of his best friend freddy yes said mom but there's a school very near our new house i know you will love it i didn't think i didn't think I was said.
he didn't want to move and he didn't want a new school. Mum didn't seem to understand Jack. Didn't want any more changes. Didn't want any more to change. He wanted to stay with his school friends. And in the old house where he and DP had so many adventures, Gran and Grandpa talked to Jack on the phone. They told him that how much they were looking forward to him and Mum coming to live near them. And what fun they'd have playing with Toby the dog in the park. So Jack said it was okay, right, all right. But Jack, he didn't really mean it. The only person who seemed to understand was to pee. Jack knew DP would miss all their favourite hiding places too. A few weeks after Mum had told Jack about the new house, Jack said goodbye to his teacher and Freddy. The next day, Removal. 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 Men came to and took away everything that made the old house look like a home. And Mum drew Jack and Deepy a hundred, hundred miles away in their car. Jack and had Jack had to admit 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 the journey was fun. DP sat on Jack's lap and Mum had Jack played a spy and stopped for a pizza and ice cream halfway. Mum let Jack buy two um, gobstoppers. Gobstoppers out of their gummy ball machine. One for him and one for DP. Although? Although, as Jack explained to Mum, back in the car, He'd have to eat DPs for him. <laughs> he hadn't explained to Bert. Expected. Expected to Bert. Jack liked the new house. Mm. He bed, his bedroom was next to Mum's and there was a tall tree outside his window. Mm -hmm. Gran and Grandpa arrived arrived minutes after they did with a bag of food to fill up. The fridge the fridge the first the fridge <coughs> mm -hmm. the first thing Toby the dog was to try and snatch DP out of Jack's hand. Wow. Uh-oh. No, Toby, you know DP's mine. D you know, no, Toby, you know DP's mine. Yeah. <coughs> it is mine. It's not yours. Mine. Where are you? Said Jack. 
He shoved DP down the front of his jumper to keep him safe, mm -hmm. but his with his head stuck sticking Stick out so DP could see mm -hmm. what was going on. The removal men left all of the familiar familiar furniture into the house mum and gran put away all the kitchen things while while jack grandpa toby the dog and dp explored the garden it had lots of interesting hiding places and exciting excellent excellent hi purchase purchase for dp but jack kept him close because he didn't trust toby the dog not to try and snatch him again mm -hmm. that night jack held dp in bed Breathing in his familiar comfort, Smith, and lay, mm -hmm. and lay silently, silently, agreed, agreed that moving day hadn't been nearly as bad as Jack explained. Mm -hmm. Explained. It's uh expected. Expected. There were no curtains on Jack's window yet. And DP and Jack watched the leaves fluttering against the darkness. Darkening. Sky outside before they fell asleep. Yeah. So Lee Chen. Chapter 4, Holly McCauley. If you like the other chapters, then please do like and subscribe. You know I've already said that at the start. <laughs> so, Li Qian, bye bye, bye. this chapter is longer than the previous chapter one and two, yeah? Yes. But you've done a very good job. Your reading is getting better and better. The more fluently. Did you enjoy it though? Well done. Did you enjoy Mom, it? I love your reading very much. Okay, bye, good night. Bye bye, good night.